Okay, yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alan, this is my life in Taiwan, and welcome to Daiye University. I've accepted an invitation from the people here at Daiye University to give a speech. Can you believe it? I'm going to be giving a speech to as many as 200 students later and I'm stood outside this beautiful info library building but I've been told that there's lots lots more to see here at this incredibly eco-friendly green sustainable university that does things a little bit differently to your typical university. But as well as sharing this beautiful university campus with you I'm also going to be talking a little bit about my Chinese. I'm going to need your help, your advice as to what I should do regarding this terrible Chinese level I've become accustomed to over the past 12 years. But we'll get to that later. First of all, I've got to get on stage, go give a speech. While I'm actually here at this university, of course I'm giving the, the speech, but I also noticed here that they've also got an exceptional uh, mechanical and automotive automation engineering department, which as I was walking by, I saw all of these super interesting cars and I was given a little tour by the, the chairman of the department, Dr. G, and he was telling me that Daiye University, this department, for six consecutive years, has won the SAE Super Mileage Competition, which is a competition that measures efficiency and electrical engineering, things that are completely way out of my knowledge base, but this kind of thing is totally my cup of tea. I actually had to ask him, are these for real people? And he told me that typically one of the drivers only weighs 50 kgs, so it could take about half of my body weight. They've just been busy taking one out to show me it actually going, so I'm super interested to see that. But while I'm in this university, I just think it's an amazing experience to see how the students of Taiwan are actually applying their knowledge. And the great thing about this university is the guy that was showing me around, he was telling me that the focus on this university is not to make professors and teachers of the students, it's to actually get them into work, get them into engineering, a real practical application of the things that they can learn here. Thank you so much to Dr. G for showing me around. Uh, I think we're gonna go outside and have a look at their latest 2020 model in action. I don't believe I've gotten myself into another crazy situation, but first of all, this student is gonna show me how I'm gonna drive it. And then I think I'm gonna give it a try. Am I gonna try this? Yes. Holy. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you still rolling? It's rolling. That's it. Oh my god! <laughs> that is the most scariest thing I've ever done. Go, 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 go. Well, that was an interesting experience that I didn't think I'd be getting into today. Let's go check out what else there is to see at this awesome university. Oh, okay, I'm just uh, making my way across the lawn here. But I really wanted to share with you one interesting fact that the guy told me. This is... Um, what they like to refer to as a green university. They're really all about the energy conservation and being as green as possible, looking after the planet. And you can see that in so many areas. Not only is the place literally green, I mean, it's one of the most beautiful university campuses I've ever been on. There's trees everywhere, uh, there's modern buildings, there's waterfalls, and uh, even the energy for the lighting along one of the boulevards comes from all solar energy panels, like hidden into the lights. It's incredibly uh, different to the university that I used to go to. I don't even think we knew what solar lighting was, but I'm probably just showing my age. And talking of green energy, I believe I'm booked in with another professor that's gonna teach me all about uh, 
the windmills and the wind farms and how they produce wind energy here at the university. Let's go meet someone here. I'm not sure how much you can hear me because I'm actually in the middle of the School of Engineering. There's a wind turbine going behind me. There's people welding, there's students learning. One thing I do want to say on that topic that I mentioned earlier about do I need to learn Chinese? Well, Professor Tai just gave me an absolutely perfect word-for-word -word English tour of this wind turbine. And I have to say that in Taiwan, it's not the first time that I've met somebody whose English is just superior by far to my Chinese. So it makes it very difficult to put the effort in to study Chinese when there's so many people around me that can introduce things to me and share things with me in English. And another interesting point that I was not expecting to talk about at all today is a town in the UK called Grimsby. A very northern, sort of run-down town was actually the model for what they're doing here in central Taiwan with regards to wind turbines. Grimsby is a coastal town in the north of England and it was a little bit run down. Young people were leaving. Uh, the local economy didn't have any jobs. So they set up this model of uh, installing wind turbines, providing wind energy, which meant that there was jobs immediately created for people to be wind turbine engineers. It also meant that the engineering universities in the town had something to teach to students that could go into the wind turbine engineering. It was basically the plan to rejuvenate Grimsby, and apparently it worked so well that they've decided to recreate it or model this plan on what happened in Grimsby. I did not expect to be talking about Grimsby when I started this video today. I have found this rather beautiful little spot tucked away in the corner of the university grounds. And this is Ziyong Tang, a natural spring, one of two natural springs on the campus, just to really ram home that uh, natural green feeling that Daya University offers anybody that chooses to come and attend this place. And Lin Zhu Zhang was giving me a bit of an explanation of the springs here. And apparently because there's two springs and because the university is built on a hill, they use the natural topography of the area to allow the water to flow down between the two springs. And that allows the water to be used in many different ways around the university, whether that's in the bathrooms or here in the pond, or once it's been processed, it comes back around and fills this fountain and the waterfall that we saw earlier. Really emphasizing the ecological and sustainable mantra or ethos that this university tries to do things by. And while I'm sitting here in front of this peaceful waterfall, I'm gonna put the question to you finally, do you think it's worth me putting a lot of effort into learning Chinese. If I think I'm really gonna struggle, I think I'm good at learning vocabulary, I'm good at learning grammar, but I just cannot get those tones down. I can't master the tones of Chinese. And I know that it's really holding me back. I can see other foreign YouTubers on YouTube um, promoting Taiwan using Chinese. Uh, they've got the courage to speak out but on a personal level between me and you, I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit afraid to speak Chinese. So what would you rather hear? Would you rather hear me speaking my true personality and intelligence level in English? Or do you want to listen to my uh, very poor Hennan Ting Zongwen? Let me know in the comments section. I'd really love to get your opinion on it. And maybe as I take a bit of a tour around the campus and show you around, you can take that time to write a comment down below. Uh, okay, so I've come to the library and I've bumped into a student. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni yo ingwen de mingzi ma? Ni yo. Ni wei shi ma xi huan zhe ge da xuan? Ai, wo jue zhe bian de lao shi a, tong xue dou, ren dou hen hao. A lao shi ye shi jin liang, jiu shi ren jiao wo men hen duo dong xi yang. A zai zhe bian wo ye ke yi kao hen duo xiang zheng zhao a, ha shi shen me. A xi zai xue xiao you kai xiang shi fong li fa dian de a, yi xie tai yang ren de ke shen, a wo jue dou bu shi. OK, 
Okay, so an absolutely wonderfully interesting day draws to a close here at Daya Dashe. I think it's really amazing that I came here to just give a speech or an interview about my life as a foreigner, but I actually ended up getting pulled into many different departments. And although I spent most of my time around the College of Engineering, I also should mention the university has seven colleges in total, including the College of Tourism and Hospitality, Management, Design and Art, Biotechnology and Bioresources, Nursing and Health Sciences, and of course, the College of Foreign Languages where I gave my speech. But I certainly had fun learning a lot about um, the university and the way things are done here. I guess I tried to give the video a topic of asking you about my Chinese level, but as I mentioned downstairs, it's so easy for me to be lazy here in Taiwan, where we have really intelligent, uh, really knowledgeable people that can introduce most things in English to me. I'm being honest to you, hold my hands up. I've been very lazy with my Chinese. In a country like Taiwan, that's very easy to do. So let me know your opinions on the matter. Uh, be nice, don't be mean. I know my Chinese should be better after 12 years, but um, if I do decide to study Chinese, then Jianghuar is not a very far drive. It's 30 minutes away from my house. I think I can come study here. But I want to end the video by saying thank you to everybody that I've spoken to today. I've really learned a lot. Uh, I'm looking forward to the racing competition in May next year. But I think that's time to say goodbye. So, as well as thanks to those guys, thanks to you for watching. Thanks for coming with me on this journey today. But as for now, and as always, I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace. Just as I finished filming, uh, my friend here, Debbie, right? Yeah. Debbie gave me this special gift. I asked you about your mask. You can just show it a little bit. This is a Picasso mask. It has a very useful medical device. It makes you feel very beautiful. Wow.